So the new engine came, and I'm pretty excited about it. It came with more, more complete than the engine that I pulled out. Um, obviously you can tell they just didn't care about how they got this out, just getting it out, because this was the money maker of the car. Uh, again, I said they uh, used these in Japan until 35,000 miles, and then they just trashed the car. So they just cut it you know, a lot of stuff off. The AC lines, I'm sure they evacuated it first. Um, has an alternator on there, which is broken because of that right there. AC compressor is on there. Those are both useful even though they're broken. I might be able to sell the AC compressor. Can't sell the alternator because it's broke. Um, so I can use that as like a generator or something. The whole wiring loom is here. All of the wiring harness for this Toyota. This is different on the Toyota than the uh, Lexus. So I might be able to sell that part. I have the whole entire intake. You got the um, manifold here. This part of the manifold, that whole thing. All this serpentine belt, everything is all included. Pretty excited. <clears throat> This part here looks like they just torched it to get it off. I don't blame them. So the headers, the exhaust headers are gonna have to come off and I'm gonna put the uh, stock ones back on. Uh, but yeah, everything's here. Came in great shape. A lot of the lines are cut. I'm gonna have to get this to the condition of the engine when I pulled it. it wasn't so bad. Oh, I'm lifting it, I'm lifting it by these exhaust headers. I don't care if the uh, exhaust headers break or whatever um, as long as it doesn't mess up the uh, the head that it's connected to and on the back I'm using what am I using oh the intake manifold apparently that holds the engine so that works I got up my tire here that's not the safest thing but I'm gonna deal with it no uh, no big deal a lot of the parts on here look brand new. I don't know what's different between Japan and the United States, but this thing is clean. Super clean. Imagine 35,000 miles and that's it will be the difference, but I'm sure I can reuse these. I can check them electrically against the ones that I just put in the uh, other engine, and I bet these are new, brand new. I bet these haven't even been changed yet. They're probably factory. Spark plugs are probably good. Um, I might as well pull them while they're out because these are hard to get to and see the condition of those. I get a little fin tag here from Toyota attached. So yeah. Um, obviously, this part on top it's going to have the Toyota logo instead of Lexus, but it's still the same exact engine, 1MZ FE. Um, pretty stoked about that. Came Dropped off right over there. The guy unloaded it at the end of the driveway off of his truck. He had a uh, pallet jack dolly. Rolled it down here. I told him to set it down right there because I got my hose. He's like, are you sure? I said, yeah, I got my big crane. No big deal. So I dropped it there. And then uh, from there, I picked it up and lifted it over to there. Once I realized that I should do the rest of the dismantling of the old engine. So the old engine, this is the other head. I took that off the same way. I took pictures of it. Um, this one is in good shape. Somehow the entire engine destroyed itself, but this one didn't. So um, I'm gonna try to resell this, because it's still good. If somebody needs a head, here it is. Uh, water pump, took that off. That looks like it's in good shape. There's no wiggling in the bearing in there. The uh, impeller looks like it's uh, intact. There's the old crappy one. Oil pump, didn't see anything wrong with that. So I'll try to sell that. These are some cool gears and uh, roller bearing. Um, half of these parts are gonna be um, either scrap metal or salvageable. Uh, here's the bracket that I'm not even gonna need. So that's scrap aluminum. That scrap aluminum and that whole box, um, you know, 
that kind of stuff. Got all these fasteners. So for the new engine, if I needed a fastener, um, you know, to put it back in, it's all here. It's from the old one. Took them all out. Scrap metal, aluminum and steel. Um, how did the engine come? Let's talk about that. Oh, here, let's go in order. This is the old engine block. Right here, I saved four of the pistons. I'm gonna take those and mount them here-ish. And there, and four of them are gonna sit on there. And uh, I'm gonna turn that into a little coffee table and sell that. They go for about $1,000. So, um, while I was on the engine stand, I dropped the, uh, the camshaft out or the uh, crankshaft and uh, pressure washed it. Here's the crankshaft. This thing is destroyed. I don't know if you can see it, but all of these wear surfaces are pretty much shot. They're all done. I've seen lamps online made out of these, so I might do that. Make that in your lamp, sell for a hundred bucks. On here's the pallet that they came on. You have this piece of plywood that looks like garbage. But this pallet underneath I'm pretty excited about. That thing is in great shape. So I'm gonna reuse that for a wood project. And then it's supposed to be like supported on blocks on that pallet, but it wasn't. Here's a CPU that came off of it. Probably be able to sell that. I'm not gonna use that CPU. I'm just gonna plug it back into the wiring harness that I got, put all